All right, hello everyone. This is gonna be a real fun video here because we're gonna make this, but we're going to make it four by six so that we can put it inside this frame. So what I did was, I already cut the paper, okay? I'm using a marker paper, but you can use whatever you want. I'm actually using, uh, let me grab it right here. It was my last piece on this particular tablet. It was this marker paper. So that's what I'm using. And we're going to try to duplicate this. Should take five to ten minutes. And then we're going to be able to put it in the frame, which will be nice. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to draw to the edge of this because I cut it four by six. It should fit perfectly into this. But what we're going to do is we're going to lay in this yellow first. Okay, so. I got these markers off of Amazon. Now, they're not too bad. I, a couple of them were dry, a couple of them dried up after a week, and I barely used them, but uh, I think we have some yellow left in here. And we're going to go down about three quarters of the way because we, there's no need going down here because we're going to fill that in with Sharpie. Okay, and you can use a marker if you don't have Sharpie, but let's go ahead and start filling this in. We're just going to go back and forth. What's nice about these alcohol markers is the fact that we can, uh, when this dries, there should be no visible lines or very little, which is real nice. And I really wish that all of them would, would have been like this. 90% of them are, but uh, you can pick yourself up a set of these on Amazon and they're really not that bad. I think I got like 80 colors, something like that for, uh, 30 bucks, it's really not bad at all. So now that we have that laid in, that's this part right here. So we're gonna let that dry a second, and then we can come in here with the orange that we're gonna bring down. And this is what I'm gonna show you, that this one is a little bit more dried out, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna come over it with some colored pencil, okay, which is another nice little, little trick. Um, so let's go ahead and start laying in this. Let's just lay this in. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you that uh, when I come down here, I'm just gonna, if you have a thinner one, just rotate a little bit. Just gonna lay a little bit of orange in here, not, not too much. See that? So we want that like that. We want that lighter color there. Okay, now, what do we do next? Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lay in this part with the Sharpie. So you can come up wherever you want. I'm just gonna come across like this. Just lay this in. We're gonna call this a mountain sunset. Now, I'm gonna take my, this is a brand new Sharpie, but I'm gonna do the first layer here with my old one to see how dark this gets. Now what we're doing here is I'm just making little circles. That's all we're doing. Just doing little circles. I found that that's the best way to keep it. it kind of seems like it all blends together a solid color because we're doing a silhouette here. So we want to have a nice, nice solid color. kind of getting dry. We can still lay some in here. Let's go back to, uh, let's try this one. This will be a real nice picture to put on your mantle, on your desk, you know, your nightstand. Whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to show you something that I typically do after I lay this in. Now you don't have to. You don't need a whole big expensive art set to make something like this for your home. You don't 
really have to go quite to the edge if you don't want to because there's about an eighth of an inch that the frame's going to. Typically with most frames, they have about an eighth inch border around the edge that's going to come in. But uh, you don't have to get exactly there. But what I'm going to do here is when we're done here, I'm going to show you a nice little trick to get a nice more of a crisp black, darker. Now I could go over this a few times, waste half a sharpie, but there's no need for that. I'm going to show you, I'm just laying the base in. And I'm holding it way out here, just to give a little more visibility to you. Hitting it on the flat side a little bit more, it makes a stutter like that. for coloring, that's what we're doing. That. Now, we'll let that dry a second. Okay. And then what we can do, what I normally do, is I come in here with a colored pencil. And I'm going to do a little bit here and show you the difference. Now, you don't have to do this. If you don't have a colored pencil, that's fine. See that? See the difference? It's darker. So we're going to lay this in here. It's nice about this marker paper. It's nice and thick. See it's not wrinkling. The paper's too thin. It's going to wrinkle and be saturated. This is actually pretty good paper for this. So this again, this is a real inexpensive way to decorate. And it's something that you can be proud of because you made it and you're decorating your own house. There's a lot of stuff in my house, the drawings that I've hung up, barns and animals. Uh, I'm very proud when I look at those. You can do the same thing. See that? Now, what do you see what we're going to put up here then after we get some of this, uh, some of this sky fine-tuned. We're not near done with that. Again, we're going to try to keep this to a, hopefully to a 10, 10 to 12 minute project, hopefully. I did a short of this. Then I went over and I'm like, hmm, I'm add some stars. I added some, some, some transition here, some, some clouds maybe, you know. Sunsets are beautiful. Love sunsets, especially in the summertime. There's a big difference here, you see this? Big difference. You see that? Now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, what can we do up here at the sky? Well, first, first thing I'm gonna do is we can clean this up. And since it's your, your mountains, you can do whatever you want. See, just clean that up a little bit if you go above with the uh, colored pencil. See that? Boy, that's that's beautiful already now what do we do up here well what I typically do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown like this and I'm just gonna come across like this you know you can come down like this so you don't lay too much and see what it looks like and make sure you go to the edge see that down here a little bit, right? I don't want to go too far. Then we can come in here. See that? It's probably a lot easier than what you thought, huh? Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not hard to make a nice little, you know, picture for your house these clouds like this, right? And if you don't like that, you want to come in with a little bit more orange, you can do that. You can come in here on top of that, in this way. You want more in here? Totally up to you. 
see that? You can do all kinds of variations. You know, we could even add some some red if we really wanted to, but I'm going to stick with this brown. Now I'm going to come in here instead of like this, I'm going to come in here and put a little more pressure down. I don't want to do too much pressure because what's going to happen is you're going to have build up and then you won't be able to do anything. What you want to do with colored pencil is layer. Now I'm using Prismacolor. I just got the uh, these in the mail today. I'm running out of my old set, so I got another set. I'm actually going to do a video comparing these to the uh, to the other brand. This is my tub of old ones, but uh, or not the other brand, the other Prismacolor Scholars. They're a step down, so I'm going to do a video comparing them uh, to show you the differences because there is a slight difference. But you see what we're doing here. We're just laying in some variations here. Perhaps this is some, some clouds. You know. I don't want these this marker to look like marker. So I'm kind of filling this in a little bit. See that? We have a little bit. See that down there? Now we're getting somewhere, huh? It's starting to look like something. Now I'm going to take. Now that was just a normal brown. I'm going to put the numbers if you want to. We want to get uh, the exact color that I'm doing. It's a. We're going to put the number on the screen. Okay, but uh, now I'm going to come in here with this blue. Now this is. See that it's it's nice and flat. I'm going to start laying in some of this blue up here. See that I'm starting a little here. Start laying in some of this. This is going to be nice. And we're just going to transition down. You see that? See that? So we're just going to transition down a little bit. Not going to do too much. But we're going to get some of this up in here. So if you go that way, then you don't have to worry about bending the paper, right? Just go that way. This doesn't have to be. Doesn't look pretty when we're doing it, but I tell you what, this is this is turning out all right. You see this? Look at that, how that sky is starting to turn out. See that? You can you come up here and play around with this as much as you want. I got to get up once in a while and step back and say, okay, how does this look? It's actually not too bad. Looks a little different on the camera. You can't see the blue a whole lot, but I can, I can definitely see that. I like that. That's starting to look real nice. So now, I can't wait to put this tree in and add some stars. Well, that's going to be nice. So you could actually come up here with some some black then if you wanted. But I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like that. I I really like that. And I've actually seen some skies like that. Yep, I I like this. So now, I'm gonna come in here with my new sharpie. And watch how easy this is. Now I usually draw like this, but I tell you, when it comes to these trees, I just go in here like this. We'll come up here, make that branch nice, and we'll just do that. See that? We'll color this in a while. Now I have a new sharpie here, so I'm, there's no need for me to come in here. Now you could. If you want to come in here with a uh, colored pencil over top, see that's, we'll let this dry, but I might go over that section a little bit more. Seems like I have a little bit of, uh, looks like that's not sticking as much as I wanted it to, but that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. See, and then and have it come down here, however you want the shape of your tree to be. Totally up to you. And if, see if you flick it like that, come in here. We're going to come in with a smaller Sharpie then, but you know, initially, you know how branches get thinner the more they uh, go out, right? Well, I'm really liking how this is, this is turning out. Can't wait to put this in the frame. I'll put it up on my uh, 
my shelf and show you. You know, if you if you can do this on a piece of paper, you can make tree branches. You see that? So this should give you some more confidence. You see that? That's one of the easiest ways to make. See that? Just practice. See? You can do that all day long. You see this? This is starting to look pretty decent here see how we're doing on time all right now come down here like this I don't want to go too low but have some crossover see that have a, one of these come up like this you definitely want some of them going off the page see you definitely want that I have to do all of them Should do some. See that? Like that. So what are we gonna do here? Well we can come up. Bring that up like that. See that? Just like that. See how that's not wanting to stick to that uh colored pencil? Hold on. Now this could be a real full tree or you could leave it like this. I mean it's it's totally up to you what you want to do. But I'd like to make some, at least a decent number of uh, branches on here to make it look as real as possible here. I mean, you, you put this in a frame, somebody from a distance, I bet you they're going to think that it's a, a photo, you know? So this is, uh, I tell you, this is neat. I like this. I really like this. Uh, could have one coming over like this. You see that? Now, if this is a brand new Sharpie having trouble, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, which is, I knew, I knew there would be some, uh, the, the wax buildup, I call it. All right, you see that? So, we're getting close to uh, the point where I want to let this go to where I think it's going to be good enough. We don't want it. Uh, we don't want to overdo it, but uh, we definitely want to uh, do it enough that it looks like a tree. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and uh, just uh, do a couple more here, just like that. Can uh, have one come up like that, maybe? All right? See that? They go all different ways. See that? Just depends on. We could actually bring this down like that. How's that? I think that looks a lot better. I like that. There we go. We have a little one come off of here. I think we're going to let it like that. I, I really like that. Now, what else can we do here? Well, we can actually put a little white colored pencil down here, right? See that? Lighten that up a little bit. See that? I like that. See that? Put that white in there. Yeah, I like that. So now, we can start adding some stars. Now what I have here, now I could have added these before the tree. It's either way, but if you do it after, you just gotta be careful. You don't want to uh, put it on top of any branches. Now, you could leave it like this. Let me take a look at that. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all, but you know what? I think we need to make this. You, might, you probably already thought about it, didn't you? I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker now. Why did I, why did I keep that off? Because I knew that I wanted it to look like this, so I kept this in a little bit because I know there's about an eighth of an inch to where the frame's gonna cover, and I didn't want that tree, the base of the tree going the whole way to 
to the edge. So what we can do now is we can go like this and start laying in some stars. Just barely tapping this. Oh, by the way, this is a Posca pen, 0.7 millimeter. And these are, you can shake them and you also, to get them to come out, you depress it. Okay. But this is a really nice tool to use after the fact to get some uh, things like this going on. And you can make some of these a little bigger, you know, to make them look like stars. But if you're going after like this, you really just got to be careful to uh, make sure that you're... Now, as we go down, obviously, you can't see stars in the daylight a whole lot. We don't want to put too many down here. Okay. We also want to make sure we don't do too many, but I want to do some because I, I love to see stars at night, especially in the summer, right at this time of the day. I love it. Let's make some of these a little bigger. One of these might be a planet, huh? See that? Let's put these all over the place here at the top, especially. I like that. Maybe one or two down here. Barely, barely touching it. touching that. I want them to be up here. Wait, this is, I, I want to go here. I like this. See that? Be careful not to see I'm way up here. I don't want to touch it over top. Let's take a look at that from above here. Boy, that looks, that is pretty. I like that. So, tell you what, I think I'm going to let it like that. This old frame here, I don't know if we got this at Target or the dollar store, but uh, let's just put it in here, see what it looks like. And then we'll go throw it on the shelf. Let's take a look. I like this. Now you can play around with this. You could do different colors. <clears throat> I'll probably make a, you know, a set of these, maybe three or something, and you know, uh, maybe hang them on the wall, maybe. Let's see how this looks. Oh boy, I tell you what, I really like that. That almost looks like a photo. Boy, I really, really like that. Well, there you go, guys. I tell you what, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, you could, uh, you know, we used this blue. I think next time I might use a little, little purple up in there. Now you can do silhouettes of anything. If you're a beginner drawler, this is a really, this should be attainable. If you can write your name, I think you could do this. This, this looks a lot harder than what it is. If somebody was coming in here and saying, hmm, that really, you drew that, oh my gosh, I can't draw, right? Yes, you, you can, you can, if you try. So, you know, this could be, this could be a hill, this could be a mountain in the background. So, but I tell you what, this looks really neat. I like this. So I hope you enjoyed it, and happy drawing, and I, I hope that you can uh, try to do this as well. So have a great day.